All right, hey guys, here we are, hole number seven. I am not sure what this hole is just by the looks of that picture. Is it Amy Cliffs? I can't tell. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so we got straight tailwind here. You can see this is also a very large one. He's not going to really use basic ball, is he? Very tough shot with basic ball. Um, the hardest part about this shot is going to be the wind effect. But also keep it in mind that uh, you're moving the target up to higher ground, which typically causes it to launch. So you're going to see that this ball guide is also going to uh, launch as a result. So you'll have to always do a severe overplay. You know, and even even our shot, you know, we're still going to have to factor that into this shot. So I'm thinking something along the lines of here, but you can also see how hilly this is. So it really, and you can see it's very tough to get something that's consistent. But something landing around here, oh, it looks like I might not be able to land around here though. So I might have to move it back. And you can see that's going to change the pitch of my ball so i gotta get something that's looking kind of consistent which might be somewhere in here but as i mentioned you know we're gonna have to do some sort of overplay thinking just a little bit more than 10 rings that's about 10 and a half for an 8.7 also keeping the ball guide short as well this ball guide is going to really expand out and you can also see that the pitch changes so you can see even with the way that where i landed you're landing on so much of a side hill that if you miss your target in any way, you're going to see that the hill is going to play differently. So you can see my ball still shot out to the left. And then on top of that, it also stretched out. So you can see that I wound up through the hole. So I need to find just a little bit better spot for next time. So that's what we're going to focus on is I'm going to just try to find a little bit different spot. And we're going to kind of revise this until we get something that's kind of doing some, something that we're looking for, given the wind scenario. So next time, we're going to kind of look at this just a little bit different. We'll try to make some kind of modified land zone to try to find something that's just a little bit more consistent, given the wind scenario. So with a straight tailwind, there's going to be certain spots that are going to be more beneficial for you to try to land. I'm thinking of moving somewhere over towards the left a little bit more. So we're going to try to move more left next time and try to bring it in with some more side spin. Hopefully we'll hit a little bit different part on the hill and it should kick to the right as opposed to the left. So you can see my ball kind of deflected to the left, which is what we want to avoid because it just creates just a little bit more tough angle. When I'm going straight at the hole and it's kicking to the left and the break is to the right, we're going to get something that has better flow. We're going to try to land a spot where it's going to bounce left to right and then it's also going to break left to right because if you tried to kind of counter what what's going to end up happening is it's going to be very tough to land to aim right enough and to have it bounce back left without rolling down that mound is very tough to do so you want to almost keep it up to the left where it doesn't slope off quite as hard on the green. So that's what we're going to try to do next time. So good luck with that hole. I'll see you guys on the next one.